welcome to the next chapter chapter 14 of 11th class physics oscillations and in its first part you will learn about some basic concepts related to oscillations in our daily life we come across various kinds of motions you have already studied about rectilinear motion, motion of a projectile. These type of motions are non-repetitive. But you have studied also about uniform circular motion, orbital motion of a planet in solar system. In these cases, the motion is repeated after a certain interval of time. That is, such type of motion are periodic. In your childhood, you must have enjoyed rocking in a cradle or swinging on a swing. Both these motions are repetitive in nature but different from the periodic motion of a planet. Here, the object moves to and fro about a mean position. The pendulum of a wall clock executes a similar motion. In this chapter, we study about such type of motions. Suppose an insect climbs up a ramp and falls down. It comes back to the initial point and repeats the process identically. And if you draw a graph of its height above the ground versus time, it would look something like as I have drawn in the following graph. If a child climbs up a step and then comes down and repeats the process, its height above the ground would look like as I have drawn in the following graph. When you play the game of a bouncing a ball off the ground between your palm and the ground, its height versus time graph would like the following XT graph. All these are the examples of periodic motion. Thus a motion that repeats itself at regular intervals of time is called a periodic motion. The rotation of earth about its axis with period of one day. Rotation of moon around the earth with a period of 27.3 days and so on. All these examples on this slide perform the periodic motion. Very often the body undergoing periodic motion has an equilibrium position somewhere inside its path. When the body is at this position, no net external force acts on it. Therefore, if it is left there at rest, it remains there forever. If the body is given a small displacement from this position, a force comes into play which tries to bring the body back to the equilibrium point, giving rise to oscillations or vibrations. For example, a bowl placed in a bowl will be in equilibrium at the bottom. If displaced a little from this point, it will perform oscillations in the bowl. When a bob is suspended from a rigid spot, it goes to extreme position and then come to its mean position which is also known as equilibrium position. Oscillations can be defined as a periodic to and fro motion which repeat itself at regular intervals of time. 
If a body moves back and forth repeatedly about its mean position, then it is said to be in oscillatory motion. For example, child on a swing, to and fro motion of a pendulum and kids jumping on the trampoline as shown in the diagrams. Every oscillatory motion is periodic as it repeats itself after the fixed interval of time. But every periodic motion need not to be oscillatory. For example, motion of planets around the sun is periodic but it is not oscillatory. Period or you can say the time period is the smallest interval of time after which the motion is repeated is called its period. It is denoted by symbol capital T with SI unit seconds. For periodic motion which are either too fast or too small on the scale of seconds, other convenient units of time are used. The periods of vibration of a quartz crystal is usually expressed in microseconds. On the other hand, the orbital period of planet Mercury is 88 Earth days. The reciprocal of time gives the number of repetitions that occur per unit time and this quantity is called frequency of periodic motion. It is denoted by the symbol pronounced as nu and mathematically nu is 1 by t and its SI unit will be per second. After the discoverer of radio waves, Mr. Hertz, a special name has been given to the unit of frequency and is called Hertz and is abbreviated as capital Z, H and Z. Thus, one hertz is one oscillation per second. This diagram represents the number of sine waves in one second. You can see the frequency difference.